Hi, I'm Tim Boyd, and we're at Embedded World 2020 at the Toradex booth, and we're demonstrating uh, the IMX6 on our Apollos module uh, with our customer's product, IPEC, and a system crawler. You can have your, your uh, pipeline inspection system, which has our Apollos IMX6 right down here. You can inspect uh, the pipeline in case you have any problems. So, but for now we're having it like have them race a little bit with, with each other. So it's actually pretty cool because we can have uh, this really uh, four, four wheel system compete with each other. <laughs> Not really the intended way, but I think it, make it makes it really, really cool. Hi Jobarx, nice to meet you. So this is an example of what our customers are doing with our system on modules. This is a, a robot which is used in laboratories and here you see basically it uses our module. They make their customer board uh, with their power designs and drivers to actually control. Uh, it's built inside here in the back of this unit to control this robotic arm. And this is used for DNA tests, blood tests, and laboratories. And the robot basically picks one of these vessels. In this case, it's just simple, shakes it, you know, to basically mix up what's inside the class. But in real life, in real life, these robots could be four meters long and have 70 different or more stations of chemical processing and lab samples, right? And the it changes the tool here and it communicates to the SOM, basically it changes the tool and repeats several lab tasks. So this is the one that's inside? Yes. And uh, at Toradex you're perfect to do all these kinds of special projects? Yes. So the thing is, I can show you the wall where we show all the different modules we basically have. You just follow me. So, so here, here you basically see our families, the Apollos family, you see the Colibri family, and that's families we have since m multiple years and they pin compatible with each other. And that's our new family, the Verdin family, which is using a newer processor, the IMX 8M, has a new interface layout. But I tell you, Simon, he will tell you more about basically our products. Hi. I'm Simon, and I would like to introduce a Verdin family of computer modules. So Verdin is a new family. It's uh, focusing on ease of use, pin compatibility, and a nice out-of-the-box experience. It is building on the success of uh, Colibri and Apalis form factors, and it is the result of uh, 15 uh, years of experience in uh, developing system and modules. Um, we also have some, uh, already some solutions from our partners. These products and the carrier boards which you see here are all based uh, on Verdin as a family. Um, it's an interesting and funny fact that the development of some of these products happened uh, in less than two weeks. So here um, I'm having the Verdin IMX 8 and Mini uh, system on module in my hand. It has a USB uh, 2.0 OTG and host. It has a number of high-speed interfaces too. And this is really the first uh, module in the Verdin family of products. It is based on NXP's IMX 8 and Mini SOC and it is offering a lot of uh, convenience features for new customers. It really supports short time to market and it is in the low to medium power range to offer a nice solution uh, for anyone interested. So this is uh, the very important next gen. Exactly. So this is uh, a successor of our very successful Colibri family. Um, it is building on uh, next generation technologies, uh, high speed interfaces, but it's very important. We always want to have it easy to use and ready to work out of the box. So uh, all the stuff you, you learned by doing this and this, you chose the best, your customers said what they wanted and you put the best stuff over here? Exactly. So 
The development of Verdin is also based on extensive customer and market research. We, uh, we had a number of surveys and we, when we settled for the interfaces we are choosing for Verdin, we really optimized the interface layout and also the pinout to make sure that the needs of our customers are really reflected uh, in this new family of products. All right. So uh, it's a big launch here at the Bender World. Yes, and we are happy to be here, happy to have Verdin here, and happy to have all the carrier boards and our partners here. And now we are walking to Brandon. Hello. Hey. So I'm Brandon Shibley, CTO of Tordex, and here we have Torizon here at Embedded so World. Torizon uh, for Tordex is a easy to use industrial Linux uh, platform. So it's, uh, you know, we're providing a binary Linux distribution. It's built with the Octo project, but we're providing it in a form that it's ready to be used by our customers uh, for Toradex products. So the idea is our customers can take Torizon Core, deploy it on their system, and build their application in a container without having to rebuild the entire Linux stack uh, from source code. Um, so you can see some of the guiding principles here of Torizon, things like ease of use, time to market, um, the ability to provide updates to devices in the field via an over-the-air update client, um, and we're also providing uh, um, variants of Torizon Core patch for real-time performance. Um, so if you look around the booth here, um, we have demos about Torizon showing uh, getting started with Horizon Core, how to develop an application with Horizon Core, how to use uh, containers with embedded Linux, which is uh, fundamental to working with Horizon Core. Also over here, we're showing uh, the over-the-air update service. Um, this is a service that we've launched on Toradex Labs, so it's still a, an experimental product from Toradex, but it's a, an OTA service, uh, cloud-based. You can see the uh, the web front end here that we're demoing, um, so you can manage devices and push uh, updates to a fleet of devices. Um, and so that's the demo here. We what's, can. What's this? So this is uh, four different um, systems running with Toradex hardware, running Torizon Core, and um, we can push an update. Um, and so if you if you do, uh, let's see here. If you want to initiate an update, you select an update package and it will initialize an update. So what it's communicating with the devices here, they will um, pull down the latest version of the software and then when everything is complete, uh, it'll initiate a reboot. But we can also cut power to any of these devices during the process to um, highlight you know, the resiliency to power cuts. Um, so you'll see that when they've downloaded the image, um, the new version of the image will have a different color splash screen. Also the application will ha show a different version number when it's been updated. So this, will, this process takes a little bit of time, but um, that's, that's what the demo is showing. Did you have some new considerations with Verdin and the whole Torizon sphere? Yeah, it all plays into Toradex um, values, things like time to market, ease of use for our customers. So both are designed to, to allow our customers to develop a product quickly. Um, so around Torizon Core, it's about providing a solution that's ready to be used um, out of the box. Uh, and same thing with Verdin. When you're developing a carrier board with Verdin, um, it should be simple to take our design guide and our reference designs and quickly build a custom carrier board. Um, so, you know, Horizon Core uses some interesting technology like OS Tree, which is a way to revision control the the file system of the um, of the device. And this is a mechanism that, mechanism that's used for. Um, you know, managing changes to the file system and, and being able to push new versions to devices. Um, so I think that is the basics here. Obviously containers obviously play a big role here. Like I said, customers building applications in containers. Our partners also providing solutions. Um, the big launch here is a big important event for 
Toradex to launch a new platform, right? Yeah, so we've had... We, we previously had uh, Apollos and Calibri, and so uh, Verdin is building on the, the heritage of our um, previous product lines. And so with, um, you know, Verdin, we, we really are, are basing the design of this family off of 15 years of experience with uh, Calibri, Apollos, and now we have uh, Verdin, which is a small form factor, um, some with an edge connector. This is a more dense edge connector than what's used on Calibri. It's 260 pins, um, and it's designed also with um, thermal solutions in mind. Uh, so we have some um, uh, thermal solutions available uh, soon. And the also launching with two carrier boards, so a full development board as well as um, a nice uh, simple, uh, smaller board that's uh, nice for evaluation and getting started with so, uh, Verdon. A lot of bandwidth. Yeah, there's uh, high speed interfaces brought out here. Uh, higher speed than we had on Calibri, for example, which was designed years ago. So uh, Verdon, we now um, design with these newer, more modern, high speed interfaces in mind. Things like PCI Express, uh, USB 3, gigabit ethernet, um, and uh, CSI, DSI, things like that. So. All right, so let's go to the yeah. Let's topic. let's bring you over here to. Um, we're also showing uh, solutions around Android and QNX. So I'll introduce you here to Leonardo. Hello, hi. My name is Leonardo. I work for the technical marketing team at Toradex, and I'm here presenting uh, Android and QNX. So basically. Android uh, has been running on Toradex hardware for a while and here we have an Apalis IMX8 Quad Max uh, hooked uh, to the HDMI display that you can see right in front of you and this uh, Android is, is an offering uh, from one of our partners Kinetics and we have a policy in which uh, it is open source so you can customize it by yourself, have a third party customize it, and it also has uh, some nice features such as integrated over-the-air update from Kinetics and, and others. Uh, on the QNX side, we also have it uh, running on Apalis IMX8 Quad Max, and this is brand new. Uh, basically, uh, QNX has done the part to this hardware, and it supports out of the box our 10 inch uh, LVDS display with the touch screen. Uh, this application specifically does not have touch screen, but it is supported on the QNX BSP. And basically, you can install it with two clicks from our Toradex Easy Installer feed, which is uh, very convenient. And then you can later download the QNX BSP and QNX BSP and SDK and further customize it or have also a third party customizing it. So here we add a very convenient way to test QNX and we save a lot of cost for the customer because the part is already done. So you need to customize it only further for your specific needs. So what's the main uh, um, uh, advantage of, of what's special about QNX? Okay. QNX is a real-time operating system that looks very much like Linux. So you, you have a very similar directory structure. It is POSIX compliant which means that you can easily port a Linux app to QNX. And besides uh, being an RT OS, it is also uh, certifiable for many safety applications. So you can have the ASO certification and others like for automotive and health. So usually customers, uh, they tend to use QNX when they can't use Linux because of the reliability. So QNX is really a safety RTOS if you have a patient hooked to a vital machine. You know. With full GPU accelerated UIs. Yes, yes. 
It's running OpenGL ES application here, so it has the full graphics stack and it's accelerated. And now uh, I'd like to introduce you to, to my uh, co-worker Guilherme. So I'm Guilherme and we are showing here a soft PLC implementation using CodeSys. We have here one of our boards. It's actually built with, uh, by one of the partners, a Keher board, a HMI Keher board. And we are running here the Colibri IMX 8X, which is based on i.mx 8X from NXP. And basically, this device is connected on an EtherCAT industrial network to an I.O. slave. Yeah, and in this I.O. slave, uh, it's digital I.O.s, inputs and outputs. And we are running code sys runtime inside Thirdx module. And here is the code sys IDA, which basically it's connected to the module. And we can monitor all the behavior. If I change the switches, I have the behavior here. Or I can use this as an HMI and set the bu buzzer. Yeah. And the cool thing about this demo, it's, it's built on the top of our Torizon platform. We are using Torizon Core and three con different containers uh, to implement the uh, web interface, the code is runtime and the graphical server. So uh, what's the main advantage of using CodeSys? So CodeSys is one, it's a market leader in software, soft PLC. So for use cases where you want that the end user is capable to program your device, CodeSys is a good platform because it offers a standard IEC 61131 uh, programming languages and implements all that, which is widely spread by the industrial automation market. So you find a lot of developers capable to use this kind of tools. All right. Okay, thanks for watching.